Hello techies! Welcome to our brand new video series focused on helping you get the most of your experiences in life. Before we start the video, let's know about Uptalk. Uptalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities who could take on universal business platforms. So you can use all time zones, and you can choose any time zone that you want. Okay, let's say I want to run it. Yeah, the Korean Standard Time, that is fine. 6.30 a.m. Korean Standard Time. That is absolutely fine, it depends. Well, what time zone, what time you're used to that? So maybe you want to create this schedule in this report? It's not that. Okay. And what is the start date? When do you want this report to start running on its own? Let's say from the 19th. Okay, and you have to specify an end date as well. Let's say I want to run it till 0, 6, 0, 1, 2020. Till the 1st of 2. This is going to run daily at 9 a.m. a 6.30 a.m. Korean Standard Time. Okay, all right. Now what would be the output time? Because its report will run on its own, correct? So what will be the? Nobody's going to be able to see it on the screen, right? Because it's running at an off at a different. Excuse me. It is running at a different time of the day where most people will not be in the office, right? So after the report runs, we want the output. So what will be the output? If I just have a chart and it able, I won't be able to see the chart in the table on the screen, right? Because I am not logging into the screen at that point. So I want the output in a file. Okay, you see, it has to be specified, and the three options that we have are in an Excel format. You can have it in a PDF format, or you can have it in a text format, correct? So what will you do with the report? That will dictate which option you choose. If you're going to, let's say, just attach it somewhere and present it to the higher management, Maybe you can use a PDF format, right? But if you are going to do some other tasks on it, if you put it in a macro, if you run some macros on it, do some calculations, update something, maybe it makes sense to have it in an Excel format. Okay, and anyway, after you do some manipulations, corrections, you can anyway export it as a PDF from your Excel Excel. Right. Or if you wanted, in a text format. That is also possible. You may have it in a text format as well. Right. You can create a text format. So after that, how many days you want to retain the output within Workday? By default, it's five. Maximum you can have is 180. That is the maximum you can have. So between 0 and 180, 2, so good amount. That's the 10 days. So that means it will be available in Workday for 10 days. After 10 days, it will be automatically deleted from Workday. Okay, if you have saved a copy, you have the copy right in your local computer. But it will be deleted from Workday after 10 days. If I specify the number of days I stand. Okay, do not output an empty report. Right. So if I check on this option, that means that, okay, if I run the report and it did not find anywhere that it may be on a Monday morning, if I run this report over a Sunday, there were no hires because offices were closed. 
So on Monday morning the report will give us zero output. Do I want the output? Probably no right. What will I do with it? It's every Monday. I'll get a blank Excel file. If I do not want that, I can click on this option. Do not output an empty report. Okay, so some people prefer to have it this way. If the report is empty, do not send me a report. Or do not give me a report. Okay, but what if some people are a bit cautious? They might think, oh, but what if the report didn't run? What if there was a problem in the system? Right. Is it just me, or did nobody else get the report output? Right. So they might doubt the system. In that case, what happens? We would rather send them an empty report. They will open it up, and they can see that the report was blank. They defense on how your users want to have the report. So I prefer this. Do not output an empty report, but sometimes users prefer the other way as well, having an empty report in their reports. And if you want, you may also hide the prompt values so that it doesn't save what are the date ranges between which it ran, but I prefer to have it. Then we have an option called Share. Right. Share. Now, this is different from the sharing of the report. There is a very important thing mentioned here. Are you able to read this, or do you want me to increase the font? Are you able to read this? Yes. Yeah. All right. So what does it say? It says you specify the sharing options for the report output. Note that selecting share report with other users. You are authorizing the specified users the right to view the report and its data exactly as you see it, regardless of their security. Okay. So what happens if you just share the report if? What happens? Other people are able to run the report. Correct. That's what we discussed. If you share the report with other users, they are able to run the report. But they will only be able to see the output as per their security permissions. If they do not have access to a particular field, they would see the field is blank in the report output. But that is if you are sharing the report definition, if you are asking other people to run the report. But here and here, what happens? You are running the report with your ID. You're sharing the report output directly from the system. So you have to click on this if you are going to share. If you are going to click on this option share report output with other users, you have to agree to the statement that, yes, you understand that they will see the report exactly as they use it, regardless of their security. So what happened was somebody created a report. Okay. It contains some confidential information that credit card and social security numbers and etc. And they shared it with a lot of people, right? Maybe HR partner, HR group. They shared it with those group of people. Now what happened was those, the people that the person shared it with were not authorized to view that information. So that was a major security breach. 
It happened around three, four years ago. It was a major security breach. Now, every now, people had this PDF containing the social security numbers and what credit cards and personal data of birth and all those independent information phone numbers, etc., etc., in their email addresses right. And I think it also had compensation information and so on. So it was one kind of master report. Somebody didn't realize it, and they shared it with a lot of other people. I mean shared the report output with other people. So then what happens? Those people got all the data, even though they were not authorized to see it right. So then, there was a big lawsuit against Workday that this is a security violation. How do you allow the system to show data to people who are not authorized? I thought that people will not be able to see data that they are not supposed to see. Right, that was the rationale. Now then, what? They argued that, yes, they will not be able to see it. But in this case, what happened? You shared the report output. Okay. So what happens in that case? Let's say, if you prepare a report and you- Please do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. For more information, contact us at sales at the rateuptalk.com.